everyone hi it's emily um today i wanted to hop on quickly and just do a little chat topic that i have been thinking about for a while um yeah i'm also going to be changing this little girl who will be a girl today i um i always change around this little one's gender um but she is she's going with the girl thing thing today because I'm feeling I'm feeling that spring has sprung um the weather actually is really freaking cold um but it is sunny and um we're getting very close to Easter uh very close to my birthday ugh um and yeah I just I love spring I just I find it so lovely all the you know the birds are, are making are making babies and <laughs> it's just it's just a great time of year so before I um officially get started with the video I did just want to give you guys a wee little update um the silicone baby that I said that I would not be getting um in the last video guys there is hope there is hope that I will be able to bring her home very 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 soon um if all goes to plan and I'm pretty sure it will um the baby could be home in you know a matter of weeks and I'm just I'm so excited ah! she is so beautiful um actually a lot of you guys have seen her a lot of you guys know who it is um but for those of you who don't I will try and keep it a moderate secret um yeah she's just so precious and I was so disappointed um when I thought that I wouldn't be able to get her and now I'm pretty sure she's coming home and it's oh gosh it's just yeah I'm, I'm gonna stop gushing but it's very exciting and I'm very excited so the chat topic um you've you've read the title you know what it is um it's losing losing the bond um basically i am in this situation and i've never sort of truly kind of experienced that before i haven't been in this hobby for a really really long time like it's been a while i mean it's been like what three years three years is a while but i still feel like compared to a lot of collectors i still still feel new um especially on youtube but anyway that's completely beside the point um so to start off um i just kind of wanted to talk about what i think the bond actually is and what we as collectors mean when we say the bond <laughs> because um i guess if you're a newbie like a real newbie um and people are going on about like bonding with these dolls you're gonna think that we're all kind of fruit loops um i think for me what i mean when i say i've lost the bond is um it's kind of like how you feel about a teddy bear when you're a child um or at least this is how it is for me like we obviously know that these dolls are just dolls but they are so real looking and we you know love and cherish and appreciate them so much um that they kind of they take on like personalities of their own and they at least for me they kind of each doll feels like it has a different kind of essence if that makes sense like i feel like i'm not explaining it well but um yeah every doll feels very different and um i think sort of we as um collectors kind of like put personalities on them like you know like if you were a child and you had a teddy or you know your favorite stuffed toy um they kind of you know your imagination is running wild and at least for me all of my like teddies and whatever they had personalities they had names and i feel like as i've grown up this is my outlet for that <laughs> So anyway, that is what I think people mean when they say the bond. It's that kind of feeling that obviously, you know, the doll isn't real, but God, it's hard to describe. It's the feeling that you're almost connected with the doll. <laughs> I can't describe it um, because it's such a strange like concept 
to feel that about something which is an inanimate object. Um, and I guess it just stems from the fact that these dolls look like real babies. I mean, come on. Um, so that is my terrible explanation for anybody who's new and has no idea what I'm talking about when I say the bond. Um, I think if you've been in this hobby for a while, you'll you'll kind of know what I'm like what I'm getting at here. Um, the bond is the bond, and it's hard to explain. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna watch this and feel like oh such an idiot. It's the afternoon and I usually record in the morning because I'm like bright as a button but in the afternoon I feel yeah a bit a bit not bright like a dull a very dull button anyway. Um, so yeah so now we've talked about what the bond is I guess we can talk about how is it lost <laughs> um, and I've written myself sorry this is looking very strange isn't it it is it is the right size but it's looking a little odd maybe I should not have kept this underneath I feel like this looks really strange do you guys feel like this looks weird <laughs> it does look a bit odd never mind never mind we'll it will make it work um so yeah, so how is it lost? Um, I think, well, I wrote down a few reasons. I feel like boredom is probably the biggest part of how it's like, of how it's lost. And that's pretty self-explanatory to be honest. I mean, if you have played with the doll for a really long time, you're bound to get bored of it. Um, it's happened to me. And I don't necessarily think that that makes you lose the bond with it but that can sometimes make you lose the bond with it. And I think that's what's happened with this baby right here with me. Like with Silky, um, I totally got bored with her, but the bond like stayed. I still love her so much. Um, but with this baby here, I, I feel bored. And I think that, yeah, the, the kind of bond is going because <laughs> I've had this baby for so long and I've, you know, made the most out of this baby. I've played with her a hell of a lot and she is just amazing for taking pictures because she's so poseable. She has, I mean, look at that face. That face is so cute. Like, I just, she's so photogenic. Every single angle, she looks just gorgeous so anyway like I just I fall in love with her again every time I look at her but at the same time yeah I just I don't feel like I want to you know dress her and cuddle her like I did when she was new and I think that is down to boredom yeah poor baby that looks really cute though doesn't it now with the cardigan yeah it, it worked it, it kind of worked out in the end <laughs> So the second thing I've heard about that kind of makes people lose the bond is um, getting too many babies close together. Um, I've heard actually quite a lot of collectors talk about this, like if they have bought um, two babies at a very similar time, they've only really been able to connect to one or maybe neither. Um, and I think that's like really curious, but I can understand because when you, you know, when you get bring a new baby home, um, the temptation just to spend time with that baby and to kind of like let your other sit in the corner for a while is very strong so when you've got two it must be like which one do I give attention to do you know what I mean um, so that is something I think to you know maybe watch out for um, then number three is that over time I feel like things that you don't like about a baby because I think we can all sort of agree that even if you love the baby so much and it's a forever baby and whatever there are still things which niggle you because these are dolls the handmade none of them are perfect um and i think over time something which was a very small like niggle of something that you you didn't perhaps like very much turns bigger over time or gets to you more. Um, I definitely like about River. Um, at the beginning, the fact that his um, 
stomach area wouldn't sort of curl and was very kind of I don't quite know how to describe it but he was not like squishy very squishy in his tummy because he was all ecoflex 20 at the um at the beginning that didn't bother me like at all I think because he was so new he was so like I mean he was my first silicone he was so different um and yeah it didn't bother me but over time I kind of it just really niggled at me that his uh that his middle area was hard you know it was you know ecoflex 20 is really great I feel for limbs um like everywhere else basically other than the middle area um and the the new silicone baby that I'm hoping to bring home has sort of one of those kind of soft core tummies um and I'm really really looking forward to trying that because I think what is perfect for me um silicone wise or what will be perfect for me because I don't know this yet um but is sort of to have quite um, robust arms and legs but then a very soft middle um, and that's what I'm sort of hoping hoping the new baby will will bring anyway sorry that was such a side note um, so yeah anyway the third thing is I feel like things add up over time and what may not bother you about a doll at the beginning can really bother you about a doll sort of six months in so then last I'm gonna go through um, solutions <laughs> Um, I'm reading from a list right now that I just dot jotted down really quickly. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I'm reading an essay. Um, anyway, so solutions to the bond issue. Sorry, I never know whether her hair is cuter, swept or forward. Unknown. Sort of a middle ground, maybe. That's quite cute. You're so cute. Um, so yeah, so solutions. One is to literally put your doll away, to like wrap it up, put it in a cupboard and don't look at it for three months. Um, I think that's a really good one actually because if you're bored and that's the reason that you've kind of lost your bond slash connection slash whatever you want to call it, if that's the reason that you're not enjoying the doll anymore just because you're bored, then just put it away. Like these aren't real, real babies, they won't mind. They won't mind being in a cupboard for a few months. Um, and then you can even sort of bring a new baby home and if you get bored of that one you can just bring your old one out again and then you never know like the bond may be back and you may sort of feel like the the old baby is just shiny and new again and you just love it all over again um, so that's I guess one solution <laughs> another solution is to do like completely the opposite and like just focus on the baby that you're not really enjoying um, and see if that kind of helps you you know fall in love with it all over again like with this baby I've had so much trouble knowing whether to sell her or not I've been back and forth like endlessly <laughs> um, because every time I get her out I just think she's so cute that I'm like oh I couldn't sell her like what am I thinking but then I don't gravitate towards her as much as the others so I feel like maybe it's time maybe it's time <laughs> um but yeah so that's another thing that you can do um I've talked about this before and this is like pretty obvious you can change their name you can change their gender um and it kind of I don't know it makes you feel like they're a new baby because if you're like me and you um and you tend to give your babies like personalities kind of by accident it it does help to I don't know mix things up if you if you yeah give them a name or gender change it helps with this little one I think yeah I think I would have sold her before if I hadn't you know been so flexible and changed her into a girl because she looks so cute in pink which of course is not just for girls like oh I feel like oh, I'm just gonna listen to this back when I'm editing and feel like I'm being so annoying anyway um and of course the the last solution that I wrote down was selling like you can just sell it <laughs> um like you have to remember that these dolls are just dolls is that like what I say in every single video? 
<laughs> I feel like that's my catchphrase. <laughs> These dolls are just dolls. Um, no, I'm such an emotional like snowflake. God, tripping over my words. I'm such an emotional snowflake that um, it's almost like I feel guilty when I'm going to sell one. You don't need to feel guilty. Just sell them. Um, they are you know, belongings that are meant to be enjoyed and if you're not, if you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth, um, then don't worry, just sell. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I think this is perhaps the rambliest video I've ever done. This is why I don't record in the afternoon. Yeah, I might not make this mistake again. <laughs> but anyway, thank you for watching guys. Um, I will be posting this on my main channel, probably, um, yeah, and if you would like to comment then you can do so on my community wall or you can pop to my Instagram if you want to say hello, but don't feel any pressure because it's more effort and it's just like, ugh, it's really annoying, I know it is guys. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching, we will be back, I will give you lots of updates on the new on the new silicone baby so i'll just bring in this little this little one i love how her um eyes catch the light it's so lovely isn't it yeah open-eyed babies they're so special like i gravitate more to sleepers but i really think that open-eyed babies i don't know they're so much more interactive I guess and look oh, so cute okay I'm gonna stop gushing thank you for watching guys bye bye